Welcome you all in this class. Today we are going to learn weighted average cost of capital or in short which is known as WSCC where we have to consider the several kinds of capital along with their cost. We are going to calculate, we are going to consider an entire capital structure of a concern considering variety of instruments and we are going to calculate cost of each and every instrument and finally we are going to averaging all the cost that procedure is known as weighted average cost of capital before starting today's class I must suggest for all of you please follow my previous class and try to understand how to calculate specific cost of capital let's read the example the following information is extracted from the books of A Limited, Capital Structure, Equity Share is 4 lakhs rupees, Reserve is 1 lakh rupees, Preferential Share is 3 lakhs rupees, and Debenture is 2 lakhs rupees. All together it is 10 lakhs rupees. That means the total capital structure of A Limited is segregated between 4 specific financial instruments. Such instruments are Equity Share, there is a retained earnings or reserve, there is preferential and debenture as well. And there is specific cost are, are also available. As usual, for maintaining such types of capital, what annual charges the company needs to incur, what annual cost the company needs to pay, that cost are also mentioned over here. Next, calculate weighted average cost of capital. We are going to show that on the basis of book value method. Now, book value points. There are two types of calculation of WCC. One is considering book value as well, another one is considering market value as well. But the question is, to calculate market value as well, you must name the market value of each and every instrument specifically for equity share capital. But unless we are getting the market value per share, it is not possible to calculate. Now if you look at the question, here no market value is mentioned over here. Simply specific cost and their book value is mentioned. Based on that, we are going to calculate right now WACC or weighted average cost of capital. Let's start. Calculation of WACC, weighted average cost of capital. First, you can write over here, first column is capital. Under that capital, you can write equity share. Next, there is reserve. Next, there is Preferential. Next, there is debenture. Then you have to write down their amount in terms of rupees. Equity share capital, 4 lakhs rupees. Reserve, 1 lakh rupees. Preferential, 3 lakhs rupees. Debenture, 2 lakhs rupees total 10 lakhs rupees which is directly provided to us now capital and amount we count next the important column is you have to plot over here that is weight column that is weight column ok how to get that weight column the total figure we have to consider as one and based on that you have to average it based on that you have to cal calculate a proportion of each and every components. What is the contribution of each and every components in overall capital, in total capital? It's very simple. You have to you have to divide the specific capital component with the total amount. Like in case of equity share, what is the specific amount? 4 lakhs. What is the total capital? 10 lakhs. Then 4 lakhs divided by 10 lakhs. You are getting 0.4. Here it is 1 lakh divided by 10 lakh rupees. We are getting 0.1. 3 lakhs divided by 10 lakhs. We are getting 0.3. 2 lakhs divided by 10 lakhs. 
we are getting 0 0.2 very simple that a specific instrument in case what is the capital available for that specific instrument that should divide by total amount of capital next you are going to plot over here after tax cost after tax cost of course whenever you are going to calculate WSCC you have to consider after tax cost of each and every instrument for equity share it is 16% I must write 0 0.16 for reserve or return earnings it is 16.5% it is 0 0.165 for preferential it is 12% that is 0 0.12 for debenture it is 10% I must write over here 0 0.10 next weight and cost you can write over here weight cost how to get that weight cost? As simple as that, once you multiply weight into cost, you can get that weight cost amount. Let's multiply each and every component and make the total. 0.4 into 0.16, you are getting 0 0.064. Finally, 0.2 into 0.1, 0 0.02. Just make the total. We are getting 0 0.1365. 0 0.1365. Okay. Now we can write down here. Hence, WACC, what is the average cost of capital? 0 0.1365. Or rather, we can write 13.65%. percent 13.65%. Percent. Let me give you people a brief in case of calculation of WCC or rotated average cost of capital. You have to consider all components of capital according to their value or amount. You have to, depending upon their value, depending upon the contribution of each and every component, considering the total amount, you have to calculate weight. Then capital should multiply by a specific cost. You multiply weight into cost and finally you 